Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2022 general readings. We're looking at the first half of September from the 1st through the 15th. And this reading is for the air sign of Gemini, the twins. Welcome everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for taking the time to be here to watch any of the videos on my YouTube channel. For all of your likes and shares and those of you who hit the subscribe button, uh, who comment, those of you who reach out to pers for personal readings, always greatly appreciated and welcomed. Thank you. <clears throat> so Gemini, this is for you for the first half of September 2022. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Gemini, if you're cross-watching for a Gemini, it's also relevant. If you know any of your other signs, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, watch them for any additional insight and perspective. Uh, these are general readings, so they can resonate a little differently for everyone, although the fundamental energy remains the same regardless of the subject or the intensity. So if you find that something does resonate with you that you really relate with, and you would like to maybe take a deeper look at it, reach out for a personal reading for yourself, or as a gift for someone else, personal readings make great gifts too, uh, feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link with this video. <clears throat> I'd love to hear from you and uh, I can usually respond the same day with more information. I do offer quite a different array of readings in all areas of life and I do readings full time it's all that I do so I'm pretty diligent at uh, scheduling people in in as timely a fashion as possible. So if that's something you'd be interested in send me a message. Email me. Okay, Gemini, let's see what the first half of September looks like for you. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with one of the Gilded Tarot's decks. <clears throat> we begin with the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, showing up as a king could be a female, though it's a general reading. Or somebody who manifests like that strong fairly masculine, king of fire, energetic, dynamic, a go-getter. Um, that's the stereotypical king of wands. It just could be any fire sign or somebody who manifests like that. With the two of wands, making a decision, this person, or waiting on a decision from you. The emperor, also attached to the sign of Aries, which is a fire sign. So this may be an Aries here, or somebody who's older, well-established, um, can be kind of stubborn, sometimes a bit domineering. This is somebody who's typically older because they're well-established, right? The emperor is over all the kings and queens and the kingdoms. He kind of embodies all of the king's energies. Uh, so somebody who's used to being in charge and making the decisions for the greater good. With the Eight of Wands, travel, moving something forward quite quickly and powerfully, communication. Next, we have the world. Some of you guys are traveling. You're traveling to them. They're traveling to you. There's a focus on that travel. Um, and it's probably, for some of you, international travel. But the world represents... Well, it can represent travel or <coughs> international communication. Uh, but it's the last major arcana card in the tarot. I mean, the whole journey of the tarot, the first card is the fool has a zero on his card and all the cards after that are about the fool's journey the fool is us right through different stages of life um, the last major arcana card being the world where you've completed a particular chapter or set of chapters some significant uh, portion of life or journey and you've graduated you're moving on to a different horizon with different opportunities so it's a card of graduation and then you start a whole new journey again in a different phase of life so the world card represents ending a significant part of life and then moving on to something different. If it's a relationship, it can represent, you know, moving into the next level of, of the relationship. If it's a job, again, it's the same basic fundamental energy. It's a card of ending something that you've been in for quite some time and moving into the next phase or brand new phase of something. With the sun, holy cow, beautiful card. Uh, one of my favorite cards in the tarot deck. It's the most powerfully influential card in the tarot because it's just like the real sun. When the real sun comes out, it shines over everything. It banishes shadows, illuminations, life, love, warmth, laughter. It it lifts up and loosens or even sometimes negates heavy restrictive energies. Uh, some of you are just flat out traveling here. 
or either you're traveling to somebody they're traveling to you or you're traveling for an opportunity because with the king of wands and the emperor this is not you this is somebody else well it might be you it might be you manifesting this energy but there's somebody else here and so this would be moving up or, or some of you are traveling or really having lots of conversations communication uh, planning to move something up to move into the next level whether that's in love whether it's in work career project from the bottom of the deck the overall energy ooh, we got two um, is the hanging man and the queen of wands there's a couple here or two people who are well matched whether it's romantic or not uh, the first card was the hanging man so a sense of waiting it may be that this travel is coming up in the second week of September so we have the hanging man which is waiting watching watching things playing out but not taking any particular decisive action just yet and then we have the queen of wands which is kind of a natural mate or match to the king of wands so we have a couple here now when I say couple for some of you this may be a relationship like romantic reading for others of you um, this other person you're, you're, there's no romantic connection maybe somebody you work with or a friend uh, but the two of you still are similar in nature you might both be you know I mean Gemini is an air sign but we're more than just a primary sun sign we have different signs for different aspects of who we are so one of these is you <laughs> there's a sense of waiting waiting on the action waiting if you're traveling you're making the plans but you haven't left yet you're there's kind of like this anticipatory feeling others if you if it's about work career project you're waiting on a decision they're waiting on a it could be you're waiting for a decision from them they're they've offered something they're waiting on a decision for you or trying to make a decision there's kind of a sense of waiting but eager anticipation of something moving forward so let's clarify a little bit hanging man queen of wands Forgive me if I slip up and say Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This is for Gemini, but there's an awful lot of fire energy here. And two, you know, the king and queen of wands, too. Gemini. I just got Pisces, too, for some reason. Maybe some of you have that in your chart. <clears throat> okay clarifying overall energy of the hanging man and the queen of wands is the ten of cups happy home love marriage family it could be there's some distance between you and a romantic partner and again this is about traveling and reunifying and being with friends and family and all of that again it, it might be uh you know this next step moving things up might be around marriage or cohabitating moving in together or marriage or a combination of both of those again on the other side where it's not like a love romantic connection it's something which will significantly affect your home and family environment whatever that is like for job work career you could bring in a, you get a promotion bring in more money it's always a good thing let's clarify the king of wands well i i have this feeling the king of wands and the emperor is the same person clarify the king of wands Oh my goodness. <laughs> the King of Wands is clarified by the Emperor. This is the Emperor, right? <laughs> wow. If I can hold the cards. <laughs> They're jumping all over the place, Gemini. Okay. So, in the original spread here, these came out, you know, side by side. Um, so, we do have the King of Wands clarified by the Emperor, which is what I thought. So the king of wands is also this emperor. Um, he's either an older uh, person with seniority, status making ability. This is somebody who's spent their life kind of building up their empire and, and they're in a pretty good place right now. Um, they might be a bit on the stubborn, sometimes a bit controlling, domineering side on, the, on their bad day, but everybody, most people have that ability, right? Um, this person also is kind of waiting in anticipation, excited anticipation. We have the Three of Wands with that Emperor. The Three of Wands 
uh, you know, Wands is governed by the element of fire, which is very action-oriented and forward-moving. But of all the cards in the suit of Wands of fire, the Three of Wands is the most patient card because it represents that you're starting to see some of your efforts paying off and you're waiting. You're waiting as that ship is sailing into the harbor and you're really hopeful about what it's going to, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're really hopeful about what it contains. So there's a patient gestative waiting in excited anticipation. Uh, for some of you, you're traveling to see this King of Wands and Emperor, whether it's for love, career, money. Um, there is a kind of more of a pointing towards love and romance here, but for some of you, it's not. It's just going to be traveling to or plans and conversations moving towards moving something forward. Uh, but this person is kind of waiting and, and kind of excited about that. Two of Wands. Let's clarify that Two of Wands. This whole, this whole, the whole theme and energy of this Gemini, it, it's, it's like some things have started happening, and now you're in the waiting part before the things start moving forward. Maybe in a more, you know, active oriented, you know, it's kind of like okay, here's all these plans and discussions. Stop and take a breath, and then you're moving on. It's kind of in that stop and take a breath phase that this reading feels like. Clarify Two of Wands. <sighs> two of Cups. Soulmates, kindred spirits, best friends. Again, this doesn't need to be romantic. It can represent, but it is a soulmate, kindred spirit connection. Sometimes represents best friends that evolve into something more romantic. But even if this is just career work project oriented for you, there's a real camaraderie, kindred spirits, similar personality types kind of energy here. Four of Cups, an offer being made, somebody waiting, looking at it. It might be that you're the two of you are reuniting for love and romance the two of you are reuniting and you're hoping that it's going to move to the next stage are they going to make an offer to me am i going to accept that offer am i going to make that offer it feels like there's kind of two things going on here something has already been decided and planned on and, and that's kind of in flow it's dynamic but then there's also an underlying thing here of something else that's wanted in love and romance it may be okay we're coming back together again or we've been apart for a while or just by distance or maybe you broke up or something like that but underneath there's this issue of um, there's something else that's wanted whether again it's maybe like moving on to marriage or something like that for work and career again there's an underlying thing of okay we're going to get together and this looks really good but there's this underlying issue of if you're going to be offered, if somebody's going to be offered what they want, really want, like it's not just, okay, I'm offering you this job thing and it's really great pay, but the benefits and perks are, you know, crappy and it doesn't come with insurance, you know, something like that. It's so, I think this is just kind of a dynamic situation. Let's uh, clarify the emperor. seven of coins considering looking at what they've invested in something and and kind of saying okay do i need to make changes do i need to cut and run do i need to what do i need to do three of coins and knight of cups so this is consideration working with somebody compromise negotiation on an offer it's showing up as the knight of cups which is a watery emotional offer but again it could just be love and romance and this is the first night closes to the top of the deck for spirit to use right others of you it may be again moving on to the next level of a romantic relationship like living together or getting married or something of that sort yeah. clarify whoa clarify eight of wands travel movement communication Three of Cups, party, social energy. Again, there's a strong sense of community, kindred spirits getting together and having a good time. The world again. I mean, some of you guys, there's travel here somewhere, getting together to have a good time. But again, there's this underlying, th 
yeah it's like two things that are connected on the surface it's we're happy and we're this is happening and something's moving forward but underneath there's still an issue of somebody wanting something and not sure if the other person's going to give it or offer it you know there's that the world the sun this is magnificent it's like you get there and everything just feels so good <clears throat> eight of wands again travel travel movement 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 the nine of swords stress anxiety worry fear of an unknown future the fool afraid to take a leap of faith worried about the future worried if something's going to work out again that can be romance or business there's more of a leaning towards a relationship romantic relationship but some of you this is going to be business too the empress you know we have the king and queen of wands we have the emperor and the empress the star the two of wands somebody is really hoping that what they want is going to come out of this but i feel there's a pattern here so caution make sure you don't find yourself going back into a situation whether it's a relationship or a job work career situation where you're being offered something that looks really nice on the surface and does have perks but it's not entirely everything that you want to need so be careful about that because it looks like a situation where you yeah, for some of you it might be that the temptation is staying in a situation that doesn't isn't fulfilling for you because you only focus on the positive things but there's some cycle that just keeps repeating so yeah be cautious of that any advice guidance feedback for gemini sorry about the noise somebody keeps it's always when i'm doing a reading right somebody always buzzes uh queen of wands and ten of coins stand firm in what you want whatever this ten of coins is long term it's 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 whether it's work career money your salary perks benefits or whether it's you know a good healthy stable marriage the ten of coins represents long-term security and stability not having to worry about tomorrow next week next month next year the queen of wands i mean as advice this is like not backing down from what is what you want for romantic relationship it looks like somebody wants marriage here they want a, a, a good relationship a good marriage a good you know stable happy home um, don't put yourself and don't back down from that there's no compromising here for the baseline of what you feel you need so yeah keep that in mind as you're being wined and dined or whatever this is okay all right gemini those are your messages for the first half of september i hope you enjoyed them found them useful validated something or just simply gave you food for thought something to chew on again if it if it resonates with you if you feel strongly connected to this reading and you would like to take a deeper look maybe peel the layers back a bit reach out for a personal reading for yourself or someone else uh, feel free to email me directly maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also see that uh, email address info by clicking the description link with this video i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the september mid-month readings stay safe and well hope to see you back again soon Bye bye